Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I believe that all of us have dream in this moment. And our dream is to gain the night of power. Yeah? So therefore I would like to share with you a few tips, a few advice, yeah, to avoid being violent, you know, you're not successful in to gain the night of power. Number one, remember, this is the night of decree. Divine destiny. The night of destiny. It means Allah SWT decide for you, for your future in one year. Right? So could be somebody, you know, next year he will be fell. Fell in getting married, in doing business, fell to go to Jannah, and so on. But that night, he made an effort. He took it serious. He prayed, you know, he didn't miss the salah in masjid. He do qiyamul layl, reading Quran. Right? Because Allah SWT said, Yamhun Allah ma yasha. Allah could erase as he wish. Because of that your effort, Allah erase or the failure that you're going to face. You become successful next year. Remember, there's two, there's two taqdir. Taqdir azali, that you cannot change. And taqdir that Allah sent on that night. Allah SWT mentioned in Quran, in Surah Al-Dukhan, fiha yufraku kulu amrin hakim. On that night, Allah SWT implement the taqdir that was there. You know, and nothing can send takdir except what? Dua and sadaqah. This is the time to make lot dua and give sadaqah. So inshallah, Allah SWT will be written for you. And the takdir, the decree that will be positive for you. Number two, remember in your mind, the great reward you will, you will, you will get if you get your power. Right? Remember the reason the surah was revealed because the Sahaba feel sad, you know, when Rasulullah mentioned that people before us, you know, used to live 500 years, 1000 years, and doing all this ibadah, and we only 60, 70. Allah said, don't worry. If you get one night, you will like live 84 years. You get second, Latul Qadr, how many? And continue. Right? And then also, we have to be careful. Don't, uh, uh, what you call, like a play game or gamble. It means you only take certain night, like at night. You take serious 21, and then 20, 20, you know, 22, you take relax. And then 23, 25, 27. Number one, maybe there's some mistake in calculation. Right? Allah SWT put the secret. So they will take serious for 10 days. Right? Like for example, you have exam 10 subjects, you always study 5 subjects. And you will not, you will not uh, successful. Right? Also, don't waste your time by discussing about, you know, when, that, about what the sign, you know, people say, oh, I think 25, no, I think 23. Why are you wasting time? Nobody know. Right? And also for those who did not take serious this Ramadan in the beginning, this is the great opportunity. Because everything is depend on how you finish, how you end. You know, if you join race, even you are slow, slow in the beginning, but when you are almost finished, you try to make an effort, you run fast, you will win. Yeah. Uh, because everything is according to how you end it, right? And then also you have to prepare to write down, you know, what is your target for this year? You know, a friend of mine, he have target to be half it. Alhamdulillah, right? You can go target for, for, for your dunya, you know, to have very good health, to success in your business, right? and so on, but don't forget the important thing is to set free from the hellfire.
So make dua. Allah Allah SWT make us min utokoika min anar among all who set fire from the hellfire. Right? And don't forget to start from Maghrib. Take series from Maghrib because nights in Islam start from Maghrib. Don't do something stupid in Maghrib time. You destroy all night. Right? And the last one, don't forget to make dua with your tongue and your heart. Serious. Right? Don't only your tongue and you don't know what you say. Right? So be like like the, the horse. You know the horse who doing the racing? You know, when they saw the finish, you know, he he mobilized all his energy yeah, to be the winner. Right? So that's a few tips to prevent us from being fell in battle Qadr. Right? So we ask Allah SWT, make us among min al-fa'izina bi Qadr. Amin. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.